Well, hi guys. Hi, <laughs> Carol Herder here with Cavallo. Um, well, these are uncharted waters, aren't they? And um, it's kind of a scary time. So I just, I have a message that I'd like to share with you um, about how our horses can help us um, through this time of trepidation. Uh, I think we, you know, we all feel pretty vulnerable and powerless right now. And it's, you know, potentially pretty scary. So my question to you is, have you ever experienced um, a fear and then you start thinking really horrible things and, and you allow your mind to say, you know, get really creative with how bad things can get. And then you look back and you say, wow, that was really crazy. None of that happened at all, but your imagination went kind of wild. Well, that can happen right now. You know, you're, you can really start imagining things and, and your mind and your thoughts can get the upper hand. Um, and I've found that horses have taught us a lot about how we can manage our minds because they reflect back what we bring into their space. So if we come in and we're stressed out and full of anxiety, we'll, we may have a bad ride or a bad time with them. Alternatively, if we come in and we're feeling good and happy and uplifted, we could have the best ride we've ever had. So they basically reflect back to us. Uh, they can scare us or they can comfort us, you know. Uh, I had an experience that I haven't thought of for a long time that I'd like to share with you. I moved out to this area, this, this rainforest, uh, when I just got a new horse. I'd only had him for a couple months, but I really trusted him and we had a bond and I just wanted to get on his back and I barely unpacked anything and I, uh, I couldn't wait to get out onto those trails, you know, in this labyrinth of old growth forest, you know, and like one trail would lead to another and across logging roads and creek beds and we'd follow one thing after another and he was solid, you know, this boy was solid and he could just truck through anything. So we just kept going. Well, I hadn't paid attention to the time. And all of a sudden, it got really dark. And I started thinking, geez, you know, I had this idea that, that we were going to do a loop and come out really near where we started. But the trail started getting denser and denser and, and then disappeared altogether. And um, by the time I realized I had to turn around, we were a good two hours in and it was dark. It gets very dark in a big forest with 100 foot trees hundreds of feet of trees. So anyway, it turned around. And this is when um, my creative mind got the better of me because uh, I just started really imagining the worst possible case scenario. You know, there were cougars in the, in the, in the trees waiting to pounce on me. There was a mama bear around the next bend. And then, and then really creative was this escaped serial killer who was, you know, ready to feast on my dead carcass. <laughs> you know, I got really good at freaking myself out. I haven't thought of this for so long, but the situation is kind of similar right now. That's what I'm finding. And I need to remind myself of this lesson because it really doesn't help to start projecting worst possible case scenarios. Now is a time where we have to be calm. We have to be calm and we have to, um, when we have a bad story and it starts welling up, we have to change it. Change the story to something uplifting immediately and uh you know are we okay are you know do we have clothes do we have a roof do we have food are our families okay yeah we're kind of okay and and then i thought even if even if i was dying how, how do i know that that's bad i mean you know it could be really cool wherever we go nobody's told us any different so you know, get rid of the fear. And now Cavallo community, here's our opportunity to feel grateful. Why? Because we have four leggeds in our lives. We have our horses, we have our dogs, we have these beautiful animals who give us a feel good advantage that a lot of people don't have. You know, we get to go hang out in a barn. We have space. We have animals who love us unconditionally. We commune with nature. You know, it's up to us to feel good right now.
and to calm our minds and let it spread. You know, the other day I just went out and stood out there with my horses and it calmed my mind and returned my sanity. And, and you got to take the time to do that because we're the pioneers. Remember, we're the pioneers and the trailblazers and we have to be the ones to go out there and feel good. Feel the peace, feel the love, and then spread it. Go out and ride with your horse. If you have horses in your life, you know what fear is. You know what fear is. And I'm not saying we all get lost in the forest in the dark, but you know, horses are our prey animals and they can unsettle us because they speak a different language. So we all know what fear is and we know that it passes and we come out of it. And so things return to normal and these are things that we have to control. So let's control our own fear. Let's think uplifting thoughts. And believe me, that's going to help. That's going to help everyone. So let's trust that this virus will pass soon. And, and for now, just know that we're all in this together. And let our animals do their job by keeping us positive and uplifted. Thank you.